guys, this is a short film about Sing and Shout for England, Birmingham's number one England football song. And where better place to start filming than Villa Park? I hope you all enjoy it. Cheers now. This song was originally written for England vs Spain in 2001 and it's absolutely brilliant. But it is also to be played as a celebratory song every single time that England play. This includes all friendlies, all European Championship games, and of course the World Cup every four years. Prince William has also backed this song. Good on your wheels. A copy of the CD was also sent directly to Sven Goran Eriksson at the FA and he was kind enough to write back personally and thank me for my support. Cheers Sven, nice one. The inspiration for this song comes from the World Cup in Mexico in 1970. The reason being that was the first time that I'd ever heard England's name being called Inga La Terra. A copy was sent directly to Rudy Voller of the German FA. Just days before our showdown in Munich. The result of the match, England 5, Germany 1, hooray! OK guys, you can see that I'm now filming with inside my beloved Villa Park and Rob Bishop who writes the match day programme has kept his promise as I knew that he would and it's on page 12 of today's programme. Let's have a look. As we were preparing to take this corner, I'd also like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to Tony Butler and Tom Ross. Again, people who put Birmingham on the map and always support local projects. Whilst there's a little in the play at Villa Park, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Barry Towns of Gotham Records, who's been absolutely immense at promoting this particular record. I'd also like to take the opportunity to say thank you ever so much to James Carlidge at the Birmingham Mail. Again, another man who's been staunch in his support. Cheers, guys. Absolutely brilliant. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the people of Birmingham for their support. That includes all fans, Blues, West Brom, Wolverhampton, especially Warsaw, and obviously Villa. Superb. OK, I'm aiming to shout above the crowd as Villa prepared to take a corner kick. But one of the main objectives for Singer Shout for England when it was first initially recorded was for it to be identified as Birmingham's very own World Cup song. Thanks to the people of Birmingham can now say that that is definitely the case. Cheers, Birmingham. Love you all to bits. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say thanks to Aston Villa, especially the media partners, for promoting Singer Shout for England. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. The penalty in the box. Anyway, aside from the cheating, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks ever so much to BBC Radio WM, especially to Carl Chin. Carl was the first radio presenter in Birmingham actually to play Sing and Shout live on the radio. Anybody who knows Carl Chin knows what a genuine guy he is. So thanks, Carl, and thanks also to the people at BBC Radio WM, people like Sue James and Mark Regan and Paul Franks. Thanks, guys, for showing your support to Birmingham and to Sing and Shout for England. Thanks ever so much. Nice one, boys. As Brad Friedel prepares to take his free kick, I'd also like to say cheers to Jason Forrest at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Played the song over the PA at Wolverhampton Wanderers last game of the season versus Sunderland. Nice one, Jason. Well guys, I'm in Wolverhampton filming today as you can see and I tell you what, I've been dead lucky because I've come across a fella and he can speak Spanish. Have a piece of this. Venga, Inglaterra. The people of Wolverhampton are back in England all the way. Come on, England. Well guys, as you can see, I'm at the West Bromwich Albion football ground today and well done West Bromwich Albion because they've just returned to the Premiership. So well done and we look forward to crossing swords at Villa Park next season. Bring it on. Team, wish England all the best for the World Cup. OK guys, today I'm at Warsaw FC. Massive thank you to Andrew Paul, the website programme editor. to give me carte blanche to the club and obviously I'm going to use this opportunity now to say thanks Andrew, you are a star man. And there you are, peace in the programme, sing and shout for England, promoted by Andrew and Warsaw Football Club. So good luck to England and good luck to Warsaw FC. Cheers Andrew. The whole of Warsaw is back in England all the way. Come on, England! Message to all the England lads for the World Cup, from all the lads at Warsaw FC. Come on, England! Yeah! All the Albion fans are back in England all the way. Come on, England! 
OK, guys, here's a question for you. Who was the first Englishman to touch the ball during the 1966 World Cup final at Wembley? Bet you don't know the answer. It was me, Neil Real, uh, ex-Aston Villa player and chairman of the Aston Villa Former Players Association. Uh, why was I the first man to touch the ball in the World Cup final in 1966? Well, I was a ball boy. And when Germany kicked off, they kicked it straight into touch. And I picked the ball up and uh, I gave it to Martin Peters um, to take the throw in. If I'd given it to somebody else, we may not have won. So that's my part. I played in the World Cup winning 1966. So, guys and girls, do you remember all those magical World Cup moments? Well, these fans certainly do. Try this. And Mark Logan's goal against Argentina. Wow! Do you remember Pickles in 66? Ruff, ruff. And that goal by Jeff Hurst was clearly two yards over the line. Beckenbauer! And do you remember that jig by Nobby Styles? Do you remember that great game between England and Brazil in 1970? Do you remember that tackle by Bobby Moore? Remember that save by Gordon Banks. Fantastic save! My, my. And what about all those World Cup tragedies? With Gordon Banks going down, Montezuma's revenge. It would be far better using the Birmingham City Haunted yeah. House. Oh. Remember that miss by Jeff Astor? Oh! Astor, he must score, he must! Unbelievable miss! Remember the Italian 90? Hope it doesn't go to penalties. Do you remember that miss by Stuart Pearce? Oh. And Chris Waddle almost hit the moon. And do you remember the hand of God? Oh. Let's help you have better luck this time round. And we could do with a Russian linesman or two. From Aston Villa All Stars, back in England all the way. Good luck in South Africa. England, England, England. Come on, England. You know you can do it. Come on, England. it. Birmingham City fans are back in England all the way. Come on, England. And please, God, let Wayne Rooney be fit. What about Emil Esky? What do you think he'll be doing? Sing and shout for England. Sing and shout for England. It's really off the wall. Sing and shout for England. It's fantastic. Sing and shout for England. Birmingham's number one World Cup song. I have not made this film to deny the passion, intensity, and rivalry that exist amongst all our local clubs. Because we love our club with a passion, and we'll support you ever more. Because we love Warsaw with a vengeance. And I'm a blue nose till I die. Mwah. And we're the old tenders in the sky. So yes, we can all kiss the badge. But when England play, all Warsaw fans, all Baggies fans, all Villa fans, all Blues fans, all Wolves fans, all simply come together and simply understand. Let's do it for the boys. Come on, England. The World Cup, bring it on. Yeah. yeah. yeah.